Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to be converting a WPC file into an SVG file so we can use it in the Shortcuts sure Alant software program. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need a couple things first. You're going to need a, a copy of Windows or XP, you know, Vista, uh, in order to convert the WPC file. So once you have that, you can uh, go ahead and download uh, a virtual printer, which is a free download. You can go to download.com, type in Qt PDF Writer, and uh, this will pop up and just hit the download now button. This will um, allow us to convert that WPC into a PDF and then we'll show you how to uh, go from there. But, um, but next we need a program that will actually read a WPC program and it's called Funtime uh, Lite and you can download this from funtimescrapbooking.com it's a free download just download the light version and install it so once you have those two things installed you can go ahead and open up the WPC file that you're trying to uh, trying to convert uh, within Funtime so go ahead and open up Funtime and uh, open up the WPC file like I have right here and then you can go up to file then you can go down to print and because we have that uh, virtual printer installed, you'll find that uh, it is now displayed in the drop-down menu. So make sure you select the Qt PDF Writer, and then you'll want to go to Properties. Now based upon how your page is laid out, you either want Landscape or Portrait. And once you uh, select the correct, uh, correct thing, go ahead and hit the OK button, and it will pop up with a menu of where you want to save that PDF file. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and name it train because this is a little train paper piecing. And uh, go ahead and hit save. Now once you, uh, once you save that PDF, you can go ahead and go into Inkscape here. And just go to, uh, go to File, Open, and go find the PDF that you just created from the Funtime software. And just go ahead and double click or hit Open. A new box will appear. And go ahead and hit the OK button and it will pop up. Now something to uh, to note, like I always note in all the, my other videos, is that um, I, I always like to select the object and see if it's uh, a group, and in this case it is, and Scal does not like groups. So what we have to do to this is we're going to have to use this uh, button right here, the ungroup. I'm just going to keep hitting this button until I see in my information box that uh, no groups to ungroup and I just got that right there. So the next thing um, I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save save it in in a folder, doesn't matter what folder, and I'm, I'm going to name it train.svg. I'm going to go ahead and hit Save. Now once you uh, once you do that, then you can go into uh, into Scal and go to uh, File, Import SVG, and you can import the uh, the file that we just created. Now uh, something that uh, you may uh, want to pay attention to that uh, that I didn't go over yet, and you'll you'll notice it in your files as well. You can go back to Inkscape, go to uh, go to File. Display mode, outline view, and you may want to watch my video on how to remove double lines because uh, sometimes when you import files, they may may be double lined, and uh, in this one, I can probably guarantee you that it is double lined. As you can see, um, I'm separating that right there, and uh, you know it's you can just tell that uh, th these are going to be double lined and when they're double lined they're they're going to cut twice in scal or you know if it's triple lined three times and so on so that's uh, something that you'll want to pay close attention to and for example like this one you're going to have to uh, you know slide that one off you know just to find these these double uh, these double lines but, uh, but with that I'm Rob with scrappydoo.com